Hi everybody, welcome back to the Z Tennis channel. Uh, I wanted to show you today an indoor run workout. As you can see, I don't have a treadmill and I miss running and I don't wanna go outside. There's a lot of snow outside and it's very, very cold, And but I still miss running. So I just wanted to show you this. It's a pretty good idea if you don't have a treadmill and you can still run inside of your home. Uh, two things that I have here for visual feedback, I have the mirror and for a softer surface, I have my yoga mat, even though I'm wearing a pretty good running shoe. So make sure you have your running shoe on. If you have a mirror, a standing mirror like that, it's great for visual feedback. You see yourself sweating. You see the uh, your feet doing different things. And uh, you, can take, you can take your eyes off of me for a second and look at yourself in the mirror. But if you don't have the mirror, you just have your eyes on me and we're gonna do this together. So this is a workout that's gonna last uh, very, very close to 20 minutes. This is a three kilometer indoor run. Uh, I have my watch here. I'm gonna track a few things, obviously the duration and the distance. Uh, so we know when to start, when to stop. And I'm gonna track my, my heart rate, my beats per minute. I'm gonna try and make this a very, a very intense run for us today. Uh, it's gonna track my steps per minute. That's why I have different movements that I'm gonna do and hopefully you can keep track, you can stay with me as far as the different movements that I do. I do high knees, ins and outs, I, I move forward, I move back, and you're gonna see there's a bunch of different movements that I do because I'm trying to mimic outdoor running. I'm trying to think, okay, how can I, from, from here, from inside of my home, how can I mimic you know, going up a hill? How can I mimic uh, sprinting faster? So that's why I do different uh, footwork here, different movements. And I did this workout yesterday. I felt like I just had run three kilometers. So it, it really works, especially if you don't have the right equipment like the like the treadmill, I mean. Uh, but, but it's okay if you don't have it. Uh, I'm gonna show you, it can be done from inside of your home. So stay with me for the next 20 minutes, okay? So let me just start my, my indoor run uh, tracking here. And we're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is butt kicks. We're gonna use this a lot. Sometimes you're gonna see me from the side because I, I like to look in the mirror to see if I'm doing things right. And you're gonna see it's gonna take about five minutes for you to really get into the zone, to really get into it. But uh, this is the type of workout that it's hard to start, but once you finish, you feel really good about yourself for many, many hours later. So we're still doing butt kicks. Now it's like a short lunging, and you can see I use my arms a little bit more. So my heart rate is already up to 148 beats per minute. And this is just one minute and 20 seconds into the workout. So here we go. Now high knees. This is slow high knees. As you can see from the front. Try and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Ins and outs. And back to Buckets. Keep it up, guys. The best is yet to come. We're gonna raise the intensity here as the minutes go by, okay? All you have to do is stay with me for 20 minutes, that's all. Whew. 
We're trying to mimic an outside run. Now we're sprinting. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit faster using my arms to give me that coordination. Now I'm gonna raise my knees a little bit more and go faster. We're going up the hill, running up the hill. Stay with me. Now we're gonna move up and back a little bit. Up and back. And back to butt kicks. We're very close to hitting 1K here, one kilometer. knees, make sure you use your arms, keep it up, you're not tired, you're just out of breath a little bit, keep trying to inhale through your nose, it's a hail through your mouth, now fast feet, fast feet, come on, push, Ins and out. As you can see, we have a few movements here that try and mimic the intensity of running outside. And we just keep switching between those movements to achieve that intensity, okay? Here we go. Keep it up. And we're just gonna move now up and back. Stay focused, just follow me. More high knees. Now faster. As you can see, I'm going faster. And we just hit one kilometer, guys. Our average pace is 627. Come on, here we go. And buckets. So far, 64 calories for me, 152 beats per minute. That's my heart rate. Stay with me. You just follow me. Just make sure you have intensity and you focus on the workout. Now, lunges, use your arms.
Keep it up. And back to bucket. Important things, don't stop. That's the important thing. Stay with me. Is and out. A little bit faster. And fast feet. Come on. Stay with me. Fast feet. Use your arms. As you can see, use your arms. Coordinate with your legs. Now go up and back. Now high knees. We're going up the heel. Push. Good work. Foot kicks. You can still do it. No treadmill. Just you. A visual feedback. Maybe something soft under your feet. Good, good running shoes. And you can run from the inside of your home. Ins and outs, guys. Here we go. We need to build that lung capacity for running. Don't forget. There's a lot of running in tennis, so you need to be ready. Now we're gonna do some ankle jumps. I'm just trying to move my ankle. Barely any knee, ankle jumps. And then in between those little jumps, I do high jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Back to little jumps. Let's do another set of five. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good work. Those jumps are great for really spiking the heart rate and spiking the calories you burn, giving you that burning sensation in your legs. And then we run normally, which is butt kicks in this case. And that way, we have a little chance to recover there. We're almost hitting the two kilometer mark, guys. Stay with me. Now, up and back. Up and back. Very good. Now. Fast feet. This is a great workout for, let's say, you do this one in the morning, rest a few hours, and then you do a workout, a completely different workout in the afternoon. So you run in the morning and you do a more focused workout for strength or for plyometrics in the afternoon or for footwork or you do shadows, tennis shadows in the afternoon, but at least you get your three kilometer run in, in your day. So this is a good workout to precede other workouts, to come before other workouts. So if you can do that, that'd be great. Here we go. We're almost there in the two kilometer mark. We can do it. Now high knees, use your arms.
Now the jumps, little jumps, ankle, little ankle jumps, and then high, five, ready? Little ankle jumps, another five. Little ankle jumps, and another five, ready? Good job. Back to butt kicks. And now the lunges, here we go. Like you're running up the heel. Come on, increase your strike length. Increase your strike length. Going up the heel. Nice. Ins and outs. And it's two kilometers, guys. Here we go. One more to go. Keep pushing. Fast feet. Try and keep inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. And you can give yourself deep breath. Once in a while, like this. Here we go. Now we're gonna go up and back. No treadmill. You can mimic running. It's not 100% the same, but it's pretty close and it's good enough when you only have inside of your house to work out. So, this is a good session, guys. Okay, high knees. Now the jumps. And five. One. And again, little jumps. And now let's go for five, ready? One, little jumps, another five, ready? Good work. Let's go high knees. And now I'm doing fast feet up and back. Fast feet up and back. Now stay with your fast feet, stay. Stay. Now in and out. Now butt kicks. Keep it up. Now, the ankle, little jumps, three sets of five, ready? One. Now, little jumps, get ready for the second set, ready? One. Now, get ready for the third set, ready? Good work. Back to whoo, running. Okay, we're almost there. Right now it's 168 beats per minute, 165 total calories, 2.78K. Fast feet, fast feet. Now go up and back with your fast feet. Okay, now lunging, going up the heel. Here we go. Come 
Come on, going up the hill. Back to butt kicks. Hands and out. Keep pushing. Butt kicks. High knees. Faster. Faster high knees. Here we go. Come on. You're going up the hill, but you want to sprint. So you go fast high knee. Let's go. Push. All right. So we got two or three kilometers, guys. Good work. I'll show you some numbers here in a second. So as you can see, uh, right, red face. I have to redo the hair and I'm sweaty. So that's what we want from a workout like this. So let me show you some numbers uh, for myself. 150 beats per minute right now, 185 total calories burned, three kilometers. And I'll show you the pace here. Uh, the average pace that we did today was 628 cadence, was 150 steps per minute. And things I can improve, I, I can improve my steps per minute. I can increase the calories I burn by increasing my speed. Uh, and obviously I can go for longer durations. I can go for a 30 minute run, that'll be around 5K. But this is good enough for today. You did great today, guys. If you stayed with me, good job. If you couldn't stay with me, you had to stop. Try another day or try it another time. Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. And this is fun. This is the kind of exercise that it's hard to start, but uh, it's, it feels wonderful when you stop and you really feel like you had a, a really good run inside your home. So hopefully you enjoyed this one today. Thank you for watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.